Hi, I'm Doug Painter with the National Shooting Sports Foundation, here today with veteran gunsmith Mitch Schultz. Mitch, great to see you. Good morning. You know, people debate accuracy in rifles so much, the load, the caliber, et cetera, et cetera. But you know as well as anybody that it's a clean rifle that's an accurate rifle. And often a dirty rifle, people bring it into the store and say, Mitch, this rifle, you know, is all over the place. But often it's just a matter of properly cleaning that barrel to start with. So what are the keys there, you know? Well, Doug, first of all, it's very important to have a stationary vise to hold the rifle in. When you're trying to clean it, if you're doing it offhand, there's no way that you can guide your, your brush down the bore and and not damage maybe the, the chamber. So it's good to have it in a vise like this or uh, some stationary form. Uh, the next is uh, we use, initially we'll use a brass brush to go down the bore and one pass down one back with a solvent on of some sort just to break the, the heavy build up down. So we'll insert it very carefully through the breech and then push it towards the muzzle and then retract it. And it's very important. Mitch, to be sure you have the right size brush for the caliber. Brushes come designated for certain calibers. Absolutely. This is a this is a 22 caliber brush for a 22 caliber bore, and it uh, it's it's very important. You too big of a brush in a small bore, you'll get it stuck, and then you're going to visit a gunsmith to get it taken out. So after we've done the initial through the bore with a bronze brush then we'll use a patch behind it and we'll patch the bronze brush and then we'll again insert it into the bore and push it through and then retract it. Now once your bore is clean you'll get a, you'll get a patch that's not going to have these stains on it like this. But it won't be perfectly white. That's that's no. sort of unreasonable to expect. Correct. But just a little grayish tone to it. Right. But you won't have this black. So that's a that bore is dirty. You know, Mitch. Now that the barrel is clean, uh, you know, if you're not planning to shoot that rifle for a while, but to put it back in the uh, gun safe, you recommend a lightly oiled patch in the bore at that point. Yes, absolutely. Um, again, with your patch on your bronze rod brush, a drop of oil, and you would just literally a drop. And again, reinsert it into your chamber and your bore carefully and push it through. And again, retract. And now you've got a thin, thin coat inside that bore, which should protect it in the months that you're not using it every day. But before you shoot it, you should run a dry patch through there. Correct. Before you go back to the range. Now, speaking of lubrication a little bit, now that the barrel is clean, you know, uh, lubrication is something I think that is probably overdone today, isn't it? Absolutely. Too many people use the aerosols, which are directly sprayed into the trigger group, into the action that runs everywhere. You're better off with a single drop of oil. You would, you would put it on the rail on both sides and therefore... Now that rail is, is really where the bolt rides. Correct. And that's the friction point and that's why you want a little lubrication there. Right. And therefore you're, you're, where these bolt guides are riding are protected and they're also smoother. But that really is about it. That's it. Well, you've got a clean barrel, a properly lubricated rifle. So with your guns at home, take a moment to check. Is the barrel clean? Is the lubrication right? But then don't stop there. Head out to the range and see how that rifle shoots. If you don't know where a range is near you, visit our website, wheretoshoot.org.